Energy. We all need it. We all use it. We all rely on it. But do we all do our part to manage and conserve it? My name is Brian Adler, and today we're going to investigate the energy efficiency of two industrial power consumers at the ground level. Let's go find out if the employees at Molson Canada and Neptune Food Service are effective energy managers. This looks like a big office. Nice windows. You must be an important man. I can ask you a couple of questions about sure. energy efficiency. No problem. What would you say is the most important part to energy efficiency at your facility? Uh, the most important part is for you know employees um, throughout the brewery to be energy uh, aware. In the 35 years that you've been here, have you seen an improvement in energy efficiency? Yes, yes, yes. We got to make sure that. We don't overuse oils and things like that, right? You know, we have monthly schedules, weekly schedules. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. Saving some energy over here? Yeah. All right. As far as conserving energy goes, uh, shutting off the conveyor lines when they're not in use, if there's some downtime. Excuse me, sir. What do you do to be energy efficient at your workplace? Well, we've... Uh, added some speed controls to our larger motors so that we're not running flat out all the time. But I know in the office we definitely keep all our lights on a timer so when no one's in there they go off. When you save energy do you also save money? Yes we do, absolutely. This is our monthly scorecards for our energy use and our water conservation program. So how are you guys doing? We're doing very well. It looks like we're going to meet all our targets and exceed some of them in our water conservation. Since 2004, I think we've saved uh, over 16% on our energy uh, costs in the brewery. What do you do to conserve energy at home? Uh, well, we do a number of different things. We've got uh, energy uh, efficient light bulbs. We've got the low flush toilet. I turfed out the old inefficient fridge in the basement. Uh, and uh, we keep the temperature a little cooler than it used to be. So what do you think would be the most energy efficient way for me to sneak off with a couple cases of beer today? Ah, uh, the most energy efficient way is to reach into my fridge and grab it. <laughs> Thank you very much, I'll see you later. Hi there. Whoa, hey man. You conserving energy over here? Boy, I hope so. Hi there. Hi. Susanna, how's it going? Hi, it's going good. You? Uh, excellent. What are you doing to conserve energy in your workplace today? What am I doing to conserve energy? Well, I make sure my monitor's always shut off as well as our little radio that we have down there. I conserve. I don't print emails. Is that right? Yes. What else do you do to help conserve? Recycle. So Neptune decided to bring in someone from BC Hydro to do an energy audit. Obviously, conserving energy is important to the company. How important is it to you? It's very important. I think it's it's our future and our kids' future that we have in our hands. There's got to be someone I can talk to about energy conservation. Preferably someone wearing a vest like me. So I'm in the cooler right now at Neptune Food Service with Jason who's part of the sustainability team. What is the sustainability team? All right, sustainability team, uh, it just started here at Neptune. Basically we're just trying to make the company more green, more efficient. So what do you think uses the most energy here at Neptune? Uh, probably the coolers and the freezers, um, but they are automated so they, if it gets too high or too low they do switch in between. They've taken our lights and given them motion sensor so that if they, when you're going down the laneway they don't have any motion, the lights will dim. I think it's everybody's responsibility and we all have to be conscious of those decisions that we make. I have the power. To make a difference. I have the power. I have the power. I have the power to make a difference, and I am. We all have the power to make the difference. Now point and wink at it while you do it. We all have the power to make the difference. With energy conservation needing to make up 50% of BC's new electricity needs in the future, it's important to get your company thinking of energy efficiency today. Molson Canada and Neptune Food Service are both using the BC Hydro Employee Energy Awareness Program. Now let's get that same culture happening at your company.